Well, good evening, Grace Church. And we are part, I hope you enjoyed that uh, chauffeur sound. That's the sound now that's going out all across Australia. All around this great nation, that sound is being heard as it starts the beginning of a time of synchronized worship and prayer uh, all around Australia, lifting up our voices to our God. Psalm 22, 3 says, uh, be enthroned on the, God, you are enthroned on the praises of your people. So tonight we will be worshiping and as we worship, God will be building a throne um, that he will reign upon over this nation of Australia. And we're believing that as we worship, great and mighty movement in the spirit will take place across this nation. You know, this uh, Synchrony Australia came about through a word that said, on the same day, at the same time, all across this nation, I'm calling forth worship so that I can break open my desire for this nation. And that's our heart tonight, that as we worship, as we lift up the name of Jesus, that he will be enthroned on this nation. And it's so good that we are joining in with so many other thousands of people right now lifting up the name of Jesus. You know, tonight I encourage you where you're going to be hearing uh, as through this live um, broadcast, beautiful worship led by Deb and our wonderful worship leader team. And we're also going to be pausing at different times to pray. And now to be able to know that you're included in our prayers that will be broadcast. We'd love you to go into the Zoom room, the same Zoom prayer room we use on Wednesday nights and uh, on Sundays. Go into that room and when it's time to pray, um, we will, uh, you can start praying in that place and we will hear your prayers back through um, our live broadcast. So we'd love you to be a part of that. So go to, our, if you're part of Grace Church, you'll know where that Zoom room is and you can be there with us uh, praying. So let's bring our hearts before the Lord. This is just a wonderful time to worship him. You know, when there's darkness uh, in the, across the nation, it's those who carry light that need to step up and shine. And this is what we're doing as we're worshiping tonight. So I'm just going to open in prayer and then I'm going to give it over to Deb. Father God, we just thank you and praise you that we can meet here as one family and one voice all across Australia. Lord, we uh, desire you. You are our desire, Lord God. And we want to lift our hearts to you. We want to praise you uh, loudly and, uh, and declare your goodness from all across the lounge rooms in Port Macquarie, joining with all across the lounge rooms and places uh, around Australia. We build a throne, Lord God, that you will be worshipped upon, Lord God. The King of kings, come King of glory, be seated upon your throne as we worship you tonight and let your glory be poured out upon Australia uh, to the glory of your name. Amen. Thank you, Deb. Thank you, Jesus. We've come to join the song Sung long before our lives To raise our voice alone Heaven and earth alike We've seen your face
the praises of a thousand generations. Lord of all, declare that over your life. He is Lord of everything. majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord God. Sing to our Father. Our Father in heaven.
to our farm. We are a people with our eyes lifted up, with our eyes lifted up, with our eyes lifted up for the Scripture says that Judah, which means praise, must plow the ground. Praise is plowing the ground of your heart right now. Praise is plowing the ground of Australia right now. Praise is plowing the ground. Your praise. Let heaven come. Sing it with me. Let heaven come. Tremble at the word of God. When we are with the one that our heart loves, our hearts tremble. Our hearts tremble before him, not out of fear, but out of love. Not out of fear, but out of anticipation of the move of God, what he is about to do, what he is doing right now in the heavenly realms, what he is doing in our hearts. Bring it all to peace. The storm surrounding me, let it break. As your name still, we call the sea to still. The raging me to 
still every way that you never
darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus, you silence fear, Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. I just want to keep singing peace. Peace be still. Peace be still. Say the word and I will. Send my feet upon the sea. to these hearts, Lord, who wait on you, to stand before you. 
Psalm 8 says, O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. From the lips of children and infants, you have ordained praise because of your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you care for him? You made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor. You made him ruler over the works of your hands. You put everything under his feet, all flocks and herds and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, all that swim the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. And so, Lord, we just commit to you the nation of Australia. Right now, we lift Australia to you and this this country before you. Lord, you know the state of man's hearts from east to west, north to south. And we ask that you would pour out your spirit, Lord God. Pour out your spirit upon this nation, Lord God. That men and women everywhere will know the glory and the majesty of your name. Lord, that they would look and see that you actually look to us with grace and with kindness and with mercy. You're calling the hearts of us all towards you, Lord God. You, Lord, you do, not, you do not delight in the death of the wicked. Lord, you do not uh, desire that anyone should perish. But you've sent forth your word to go out to call all men and women, boys and girls, unto yourself, Lord God. Lord, you've desired to build a family, to make a family from the nation of Australia, Lord God, from ancient times to the present, from where people have traveled from every tribe, nation and tongue. They're here in this place of Australia. And we pray, God, have mercy. Pour out your spirit upon this nation. Pour it out, Lord God. For those who are suffering right now, for those who are caught in darkness, in drugs and despair and loneliness, in heartache and brokenness, Lord God, let your grace be poured out upon this nation, Lord God. Lord, we lift up our prime minister to you. Your word tells us that we're to pray for our leaders, Lord God, we're to lift them up to you and and pray that your, your spirit would be upon them, that your wisdom would be Um, dwelling within them, that righteousness would abound in their thinking and their actions and their decision-making, Lord God. So we lift up our Prime Minister, Scott Morris, and we pray your blessing upon him. We pray strength and favor to be upon him now, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, and to be upon his family. Lord, his wife, Jenny, and his two daughters, Lord God. We pray a hedge of protection around them so that the enemy would not come to kill, steal and destroy them. Lord, we thank you for such a time as this that there is a man who lifts up your name, who speaks your name, who loves you, who has declared that he is disciple, a follower of you, Lord God. And so we pray that you would strengthen him, Lord, that your word would be a lamp unto his feet and a light unto his path, Lord God. We pray that your spirit within him would emanate across uh, to his colleagues and those that are around him so that your influence will not be just on a man but upon a government, Lord God. Lord, and we know that the, the, the greatest government actually rests on the shoulders of Jesus, not just on any one man. And so we thank you, Lord. We ask that you would rule this nation. Rule this nation, Lord God, with righteousness, justice, Lord God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. And if you're um, now just in our Zoom room and you'd like to um, speak a prayer, why don't you just t- take your mute off now and, uh, and speak that prayer and we can all uh, hear that prayer for our nation right now. So, Father, we just thank you.
thank you for your spirit for our nation. If there's somebody there, I'd like to tune in and, and pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So, who's going to pray? You taking your mute off? Yeah. I'm just holding the mic up to the speaker. And we thank you that, Lord, that you have it in hand. We thank you, Lord, that you're a God of peace and delights in peace. We thank you, Lord, that you're a God of truth who delights in truth. And thank you, Lord, that uh, we can come to you for your truth and to be secure in you and who you are, to be secure in your ways. Um, Lord, we just thank you for your guidance through times of difficulty, through times in which it is dark. We thank you that you are constantly with us. We thank you that your promises are good and true, Mm. that nothing will hurt or harm us, Lord, that you have all things at hand, that you care for us, that you go before us. And there are always promises, Lord, of of things that are to come, but they're a delight, Lord. So we look forward to the things that are to come that are delight. We look forward to what you are doing here in Australia. We thank you. We pray, God, that you move amongst your church, your people here in Australia, for your kingdom to come and for your will to be done here. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Maybe there's somebody else there and in the Zoom room who'd like to pray. Lord, I just thank you that your word says, then I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be glad because you rescued me. With every bone in my body, I will praise him. So, Lord, we just thank you that your promise is that you rescue us, that you are with us. And so, Father, tonight we just give you all the praise and all the glory. We thank you that we don't have to be fearful because we have your peace. Lord, I just pray that as we worship you tonight, Lord, we just see miracles across our nation. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord, we lift up our our, uh, Premier, Lord God, Gladys Berejiklian, Lord God. And Lord, the government and the people that are around her, Lord God. The Kerry Chant, Lord God. These people that are carrying a burden that is heavy uh, in regards to the health and safety of uh, New South Wales. Father, we pray you give them wisdom that you would strengthen their hearts. We pray that in those quiet moments, they would hear your voice. They would hear the encouragement of your spirit. Lord, that they would seek you, that they would um, turn their hearts towards you, Lord God. Lord, I pray that, uh, and I pray that sense of turning the hearts, Lord God, as, as 2 Chronicles tells us, Lord, that if we humble ourselves, and turn our hearts towards you. You will hear our cry. You will hear our prayers from heaven, Lord God. And you'll bring healing to this land. And so, Lord, we cry out now, Lord, for those who, who are sick in our land, Lord God. For those who are in intensive care and in hospitals um, with um, COVID, uh, Lord God. We pray your healing hand would be upon them. We pray, Lord God, that that, that, that disease, Lord God, would be... Um, would be crushed in Jesus' name. For your Holy Spirit to minister to every single soul in this nation. 
bring us all to you. And to you, the work you've given us. Our hands. I bless Australia. I bless you more than I bless Australia. Yes. Because you are worthy. Thank you, Lord. Okay, the last one for praying for the nation, if you want to. Australia. Yes. We just uh, lift up this country, Lord, and all its struggles. And we thank you, God, that uh, you care so much for us. And uh, we just stand in agreement in one accord that this will be the uh, great Southland of the Holy Spirit. And uh, you will fulfill your calling for this nation, the calling for this church, the calling for your body who are standing in faith to believe Jesus, that your kingdom will come, mm. your will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Mm. And that has already been prayed, Lord, that there will be miracles, there will be faith arise through the power of worship, that there will be hope in people's hearts and that we'll, we'll, we will see um, that beautiful pouring out of your spirit where families are united, where uh, people are able to share the gospel freely and... We just ask God that you would encourage and strengthen the leaders of this land to continue to hold fast for the things that matter, for the things of love, for the things of joy, for the things of peace. And Lord, you will bring unity and you would bring life, life to people's hearts, to the men and the women and the children of this land and the youth and the older generation, God, that you will pour out your spirit and have mercy on us, Father. Thank you. And so we just stand together and believe, God. <clears throat> that you are with us and we ask you, as your word says, um, ask and you will receive. Seek, you will find. Knock and that door will be opened. So please, Jesus, open the door, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So, Father, we just thank you now. And as we go back into this time of uh, worship, Break the bridge. We just declare your breakthrough, Lord. We declare your breakthrough. Your fire falls down 
breakthrough by the power of the Holy Spirit there will be breakthrough there will be breakthrough in your own circumstance there will be breakthrough in your own home there will be breakthrough in your neighborhood there will be breakthrough in our city there will be breakthrough in our nation by the power of the Holy Spirit Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that we declare your breakthrough before we see it. Before we see it. Be still. Grace align. I won't be afraid. 
be still my heart and know I won't be afraid church cause surely love and mercy your peace and kindness will follow me will follow me surely love and mercy your peace and kindness will follow me will follow me and surely love and mercy your peace and kindness will Thank you that your love surrounds us. Thank you that your grace, your mercy, your kindness, and your peace is with us always. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for what you did for us. I thank you that you fought the battle. I thank you that you fought the battle for us, Lord. You did the hard thing. And we get to walk in that victory. darkness running out of an empty grave now seated alone in glory enthroned on the highest praise you sent the darkness running out of an empty grave now seated alone in glory enthroned on the highest praise and you sent the darkness running out of an empty grave now seated alone in glory 
enthroned on the highest praise. You sent the darkness running out of an empty grave. Now seated alone in glory, enthroned on the highest praise. And you reign above it all. You reign above it all. Over the universe and over every heart, there is no higher name. Jesus, you reign above it all. And let all of heaven earn the earth erupt in song. Sing hallelujah to the everlasting one. There is no higher name. Jesus, you reign above it all. You reign above it all. You reign above it all. Over the universe and over every heart, there is no higher name. Jesus, you reign above it all. And let all of heaven and the earth Sing hallelujah to the everlasting one. There is no higher name. Jesus, you reign above it all. Let it reign above it all. picture is as pouring out the Holy Spirit is pouring out the rain of the Holy Spirit is pouring out I just encourage you to hold your 
arms out and dance in that rain. Jump in those puddles like a child in the rain, in their gumboots. Just jump in those puddles, that flooding of the Holy Spirit, where you are now in your lounge room. Just let it rain. Let it overflow. Let it rain down on you. Drench you, soak you, flood you, flood your atmosphere. And don't be afraid to jump in those puddles. Don't be afraid to get wet and let it splash everywhere. Hey everyone, my name is David and I'm one of the pastors at Grace. We're going to continue in our prayer time now for families. And I'd love to just read, I read this out on Sunday for Father's Day. I'd love to read that out again as we come into this moment. From Romans chapter 8 verse 14. The mature children of God are those who are moved by the impulses of the Holy Spirit. And you did not receive the spirit of religious duty leading you back into the fear of never being good enough. But you have received the spirit of full acceptance. It's beautiful, isn't it? That we are coming into now. We're unfolding you into the family of God. And you'll never feel orphaned. For as he rises up within us, our spirits join him in saying the words of tender affection. Beloved Father. For the Holy Spirit makes God's fatherhood real to us as he whispers into our innermost being, you are God's beloved child. Let's pray into that, Lord. We thank you, Father, that you whisper into us that we are your children. Lord, you see families throughout the world. You see children throughout the world. You see families throughout Australia, this nation, and how you love them and how you call them by name, we thank you. How pleased you are, how proud you are. You're a good father, a good dad, and we thank you, Lord. We thank you that you show us what it means to be a good father. You lead by example in your way, in your conversation, in your love, in your touch toward us and Lord as you lead by example I pray God that extravagant love that you have that the men and the women the mums and the dads will pour out that extravagant love to their children to their neighbours children we thank you Lord, we ask that each family, Lord, now is the time for each family to to grow in your love, to grow in your knowledge and understanding, to grow in your wisdom. We pray that right now for families, that they are families who will grow in you. We ask for time slots, Lord, in our busyness and in our schedules and in our productivity and, and things that we do. I just pray, God, for incredible time slots and moments of joy, of goodness, of gladness, of laughter in the household, of your truth to be expressed, that the children will know who they are, 
And I pray, God, that mums and dads of this nation will teach the children who they are because, Lord, they know who they are as children of the living God. So thank you, Lord, for being ever-present. Your promises are true. Lord, we bless our families, Lord, across this nation of Australia. We lift them up to you. Lord, we ask also for the relationships to grow during this time. Lord, we pray against negativity. We pray against criticism. We pray against tearing down, Lord, and we encourage, Lord, by your Holy Spirit that there will be building up, that there will be encouragement, that there will be a great affirmation towards one another in the family home. And Lord, we pray also for incredible grace to be given in the family home. Lord, we thank you that the family home is a home of safety, a home in which we have outlet to do, Lord, uh, what we desire and who we are, whether that's moments of irritation, moments of anxiety, moments of discouragement, Lord. Just thank you that our home is a safe place for many. And we just pray, God, that in those moments there's incredible grace for each one as each person handles what they're going through differently. And in those moments of grace, Lord, I pray, Lord, that there's incredible love that draws us all back into you and that we can be freed from those moments of anxiety and worry and angst. We ask in Jesus' name. And Lord, we pray, Lord, by your incredible power, those homes that aren't feeling safe right now, Lord, we pray, God, that you intervene. We pray for your supernatural work to happen and take place, that minds will be shifted and that hearts and bodies will be protected by your supernatural arm, by your shield of protection, we ask. We thank you in Jesus' name. Spur us on, Lord, our families, that we may grow into a beautiful family of God together. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll just go to our Zoom room, and I'd like to ask those in our Zoom room, if you too could pray into families at this point. You know, in a con, you know, the, the misunderstanding of, uh, of the conspiracy, or you know, it's it's just been it's a cloud that's that's just sort of holding, sort of hanging over us. And um, we just, uh, yeah, Lord, it just it's your truth, it's your love, it's your, and it's the only thing that's really. All of us need is it's, uh, and we I pray that we can seek seek that with, like children, um, you know, looking looking for something to just hold on to in, at this time. Um, just pray, Lord, that yeah, that just just your truth and love will, 
will just be exalted. Your name will be exalted. Um, your word will shine through us as the truth. Not as some ancient word that just, um, just, you know, that was put out, uh, put out over that love is patient and kind to and doesn't keep score. I pray that that would be the love which rules and reigns and that love is One last prayer um, from our family prayer time in the Zoom room. Father, we pray for a release of strength into families. Worldwide, God, the family is your idea, God. And it's the best way it works. And so we ask you, Holy Spirit, that you would just hover as you did over creation and that you would breathe life into families all around the globe. Even as we pray tonight, Lord, where there has been great despair, God, that your hope will invade homes, that your peace will invade homes that your spirit will blow like a mighty wind and fill up homes right across the nations and right across the globe, that the light of Christ will rise up and just obliterate the darkness through the families of God right around the globe. God, we thank you. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are here (laughs) in every home, in every lounge room, wherever you are. Holy Spirit, you are here. We thank you for the prophetic word over our nation. We are the great 
great south land of the Holy Spirit. And God, we ask you right now that the evil that is holding nations bound will be broken in the name of Jesus. And particularly over Australia, Lord, that the sound of your wind rushing will be heard and the fire of your spirit will fall right across this land in Jesus' name. Spirit, sound, rushing wind, fire of God, fall within. Holy Ghost, breathe on us, we pray. As we repent, turn from sin, revival embers smoldering. Breath of God, fan us into
It's blowing, move upon our praise. Sons and daughters sing it. We can hear the wind blowing, blowing, blowing. We prophesy breakthrough. We prophesy breakthrough. We prophesy revival fire. Revival fire. Revival fire. Let the wind blow. Let the wind blow. Let the fire. You inhabit our praises and we're so thankful, God. I don't want to hurry. No, I don't want to move. You are my sanctuary, my upper room. So I linger here with you. Push through my fear aside. Till time has been removed. You are my sanctuary, my upper room. So I linger here. Well 
stronghold, that you are our refuge, a strong tower that we can run into, God. We bless you, Lord, tonight. We trust you. We trust you with all that we are, God, because you are good and worthy of our trust. And when I'm tired of 
praise to you. We got eyes like a dove, focus solely on you, Lord, no looking elsewhere, not being distracted, Lord, because we're returning to you, God, to our first love. It's you, Jesus. It's you, Jesus. you. Lord, our hearts are desperate for you. As the deer pants for the water, so my soul, so my soul longs after your presence, oh God. We just need you so much. Australia needs you, Lord God. Port Macquarie needs you, Lord God. Grace Church needs you, Lord God. I need you, Lord God. Nothing else satisfies. Nothing else fulfills. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your wonderful, powerful presence. Thank you, Lord. You know, Synchrony Australia is all about on the same day, at the same time, all across this nation. God is saying, I am calling forth worship so that I can break open my desire for this nation. You know, I was thinking of this, this sense of the breaking out. And there are there's uh, some great examples in the Gospels of the breaking out in Mark 14, Luke 7, and uh, John uh, chapter 12. And in that sense of the breaking out, it's an alabaster jar of perfume being broken out upon Jesus. There's this moment where the sinful woman um, bursts into Simon the Pharisee's house and Jesus is there. He's at the table and talking to Simon and, and, uh, and, this, and the, the sinful woman just um, interrupts their time. And she starts crying over the feet of Jesus. And she's washing Jesus' feet with her tears and then drying those feet with her hair. And then she breaks out this perfume over Jesus. It's a wonderful, magnificent picture. John chapter 12 talks about it's, it's Mary of uh, who anoints Jesus just before the, the final last supper and then it's days, it's a week before the cross but again she comes into a room and she breaks open the beautiful alabaster jar and pours out a year's wages of perfume over Jesus and of course there's shock there's horror there's what a waste what an extravagance how dare she do such a thing we could have fed the poor we could have done all these things and yet she just poured it out over Jesus 
she broke something of her own. It was personal, it was, it was public, and it was powerful. And you see, friends, that's what worship is. It's personal. It's public and it's powerful. It's personal. It's you bringing what you have to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and you break it open and you give it to you. Break open your heart and you say, God, this is me. This is all of me. I pour it out over you, Lord God, for you are worthy to receive all honour, thanks, praise, glory. Every descriptive I can give you. All my life, all my wealth, whatever I have, Jesus, it all belongs to you. And we pour it out. And in that very personal act, it becomes very public. It's with others. And it affects others. Some will be confused by it. How, how can you sing so loud? How can you be so joyful? How can you be so expressive? And it all comes down to this very clear point that Jesus said, those who have been, been forgiven much will love much. And those who believe they've been forgiven little will, will love very little. When we're caught up in our own self-righteousness and pride, we're caught up in our own self-importance, living life for our own instead of laying it all down for Jesus. It's very little that we do want to give. But when we see and know and we feel His grace and His tenderness and His kindness and His love towards us, the most broken of us, which is all of us, all we can do is but fall down at His feet. We cast our crowns, it says in Revelation, the elders around his, their throne, whatever they thought they had that was valuable, they cast it down at Jesus', Jesus feet and cry out, worthy, worthy, worthy are you to receive all honour, thanks and praise. And friends, that's us. Whatever we think we have that's worthy of something we can't hold on to, we must lay it down. We must cast. That's what true worship is. It's saying you are of great worth. Whatever I have is nothing in comparison to you. So I will give you, I will give you a year's wages as that perfume was. And so it's very powerful because as that, that perfume goes out, that perfume that's given, it's the fragrance of life for everywhere. The perfume was put on Jesus, but it ended up upon Mary. It was on her hair. It was in her clothes because she positioned herself to the one she worshipped. She positioned herself close to the one she worshipped. And that's what we all need to do, friends. Position ourselves so close that as we pour out onto Him His worth, the perfume of our worship, it actually comes back onto us. And that becomes the fragrance of life that we take into the world around us. You see, friends, that's what worship is. It's personal. It's public. And it's powerful. It changes the atmosphere around us. The fragrance of life is smelt and it draws and it's attractive. It's like it says in the Song of Solomon. He says, your name is like perfume poured out. Jesus. You see, when we, when we catch his fragrance on us, it's alluring and it's drawing out into the world around us. And people know that you've got Jesus on you. 
you've got Jesus. I want that. Amen. That's what our worship does for him. Church, we're going to just draw into a final uh, moment here. And I'm going to ask um, Brendan to come over and uh, join me. And we're going to um, we're going to pray for the next generation. Brendan, what do you believe the next generation needs? What's their fears that we need to pray into tonight? What's their challenges that we need to give hope to them tonight? So I I think um, some of the things I think a big thing for them is their mental health. I think a lot of people, a lot of young people are really, are realising how important that is and how much they need help for that. Um, And I think we, we pray and believe that they find that hope in God, not in other things. And so I think that's something that really needs prayer into is that they search for that in the in the right space with with God and um, with Jesus by their side not not in other ways so that's a big thing um, is mental health um, and I think something for us um, that we need to do is to inspire and empower the next generation like we're we're called to inspire the next generation and champion them on empower them um, in the whatever wherever they are seeking that God is um, we've set something up for them to then go on towards so it's exciting to see what um, God has for the next generation and we need to empower that um, which could be something different something something different than what could be happening now so um, I think there are two things what well, one for them just their mental health so they seek God but then also that we will inspire and empower their two things. Should I pray for that? Yeah. Lord, we just lift up all of our, all of our young people, Lord, all, of our, all the next generation, Lord. We just thank you so much for their precious souls. We just thank you so much for the love that you have for them. Lord, we just pray that right now you'll intercede in their heart with your Holy Spirit, Lord that you would just pour out your love into their hearts, that they'll feel that love, Lord. Lord, we just pray that they will seek you, that they won't seek out other things, Lord. Lord, that they will seek you deeply and honestly and with integrity, Lord. Lord, we just pray that you give them peace, that you remove all anxiety and all stress and all worry, Lord, that they will seek you first. And Lord, we just pray that um, as well, particularly for our year 12s, Lord, we just pray that they know that they are okay no matter what happens with their results or whatever's going on. Lord, that you've got everything in control. Lord, that you have a purpose for them in their life. And that purpose doesn't get defined in a couple of months' time of what whatever their result is, Lord. That they have a whole life ahead of them a whole calling and a purpose that you have planned out for them. And Lord, we just pray that you really let our young people know that. Just really sink that into their hearts, Lord. And Lord, we pray for, um, for us to be able to be, to be bold and courageous enough to be able to inspire and empower the next generation. Lord, that we will put our own egos aside to be able to inspire the next generation. Lord, that we'll put our own ideas, our own thoughts, Lord, to empower the next generation. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, Father, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, for this mighty young man. Lord, I thank you for his uh, assistant, Neve, Lord God, who leads our young people, Lord God. They're leading into the next generation. They're not just creating a party time, Lord, for for them, Lord God, or or just a time filler, but Lord, they're discipling the next generation of leaders to take your church forward, Lord God. Father, I pray that you'd fill them, bless them. Um, 
Lord God, help them to rise and go higher and further than uh, than uh, we've ever thought possible, Lord God. I, Lord, they stand on our shoulders, Lord God. We provide the ceiling that becomes their foundation, Lord God. And I pray that they will see the next mighty move of God. They will see the next revival that will break through uh, this nation, Lord God, and that they will see a whole generation one to you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for what you're doing. You're calling out the next generation. You're calling them up to rise up and take hold of you, Lord God. I thank you for our leaders. I thank you for our young people, our children, Lord God. Lord, for Karen and the team who lead our kingdom kids, Lord God. Lord, they're wonderful um, leaders and, and agents for change, Lord God, to bring forth your revival in the next generation, Lord God. And so we bless them. Them, Lord, and release them powerfully to bring forth, Lord God, all that you intend, Lord God, for the next generation. Lord, that your church will, will continue to rise and build and go forward and take the ground, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, tonight, we just thank you for the time we've, we've shared together. And we're, gonna, we're drawing to a close now, and Debbie's going to lead us in a, in a final song. Uh, that everybody in Australia uh, that has been part of this um, Australia-wide uh, Synchrony Australia Worships, they're all finishing with this song now. And uh, it's by Chris Tomlin, We Fall Down. And so I'd encourage you, church, fall down before His throne. You know, the fullness of joy is in His presence forevermore. And that's where we've been tonight, in His presence. So be filled with joy. Be filled with His love. Be filled with His peace and His goodness now as we worship Him. And then I'll close with a blessing. Thank you, Deb. We fall down. We lay our crowns at the feet of Jesus. The greatness of His mercy and love at the feet of Jesus. And we
what a powerful night it's been. I tell you that the, the presence of the Lord is just so tangible in this place right now. I pray that you're fit, knowing His goodness and His presence in your home right now. He's so good to us, church. He's so good to us. There's nothing better than being in His presence. A big thank you to uh, Aaron uh, has been on our live feed tonight and Ruth and um, Rose who've been uh, setting us up and helping us with all that technical and a big thank you to our worship leaders who have come in to do this presentation tonight. We've just so enjoyed working together as a team to um, bring this moment. As I said today to our staff team, we've, we've been one of the logs burning on a massive uh, bonfire that's burned brightly for Australia. And I'm sure the Lord has looked down from His, in, from His throne that was built upon our praises and He's seen Australia ablaze, ablaze with the love and of, and of His name lifted high. Uh, as we've come together to to praise Him, to worship Him, to pray for our nation. So God bless you, church. I just leave you with this blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace. And give you peace. In the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. See you next Sunday.